is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. It's November 19th, Tuesday, all day, every day, little Taco Tuesday action. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I love me some tacos. I might be baking some tacos tonight. Folks, so much going on in crypto. The most exciting time of the year, the most exciting time of our lives coming in 2025. You have seen nothing just yet. We got a lot to go over. We're talking about Trump, no tax on crypto, no capital gains tax. What does that mean for these crypto companies that are from outside the U.S.? Because they're not going to reap the benefits. We're going to talk about Bitwise in the top 10 crypto ETF, or as I like to say, their index fund. NASDAQ, what are they up to? Because when they're finally waking up, I think they're sipping or drinking the Kool-Aid. Then we're going to look into the XRP price chart. We got an analysis coming in saying XRP is going to $20 plus. And I know that gets you excited and get, that gets you all tingly in the morning because it does for me as well. So without further ado... Let's jump into this thing. Bitcoin, $92,230. It's currently up 1.86% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming out of 3,144. It's currently up 2.65%. USDT and USDC both finally coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP. Well, it's holding. It's floating. And it's doing a little shaking and baking. Coming in at $1.11. It's currently down 0.91% in the past 24 hours. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $3 trillion, $126 billion. Folks, where are we going from here? It's very clear. It's very obvious. We are going up. I get asked this question a lot. I see this question asked a lot on Twitter. and People trying to get answers. But don't worry because Rip got your answer. Everyone wants to know now if now is a good time to get into crypto. If now is a safe time. Look. We're in a bull run. We are in a bull run. What does that mean? It means you can do no wrong. Everything is going up. Everything is flying up. Whether you look to time a bottom and, and land the most perfect execution of the bottom of one of these assets, I wish you luck. It's near impossible because we don't know if this thing, we'll see XRP, for example, is going to go to a dollar three. How long it's going to be sitting at a dollar three? If you even have the opportunity to buy it at a dollar three. Every position that you get into now, six, eight, 12 months from now, you are not going to care about the timing because all of these prices are going to be so much higher than what you are looking at now. Yeah, maybe you can get yourself a couple of extra XRP because you sat there, you stressed on the on the sideline, you were watching the chart like a hawk, you were hoping the prices was going to go down. Maybe you end up gaining a few extra XRP. But what if it doesn't come back down? What if it keeps going up and you lose out? You got to look at both ways here. If I was a buyer, and I'm, I am a buyer, just updated the Patreon just yesterday, we have officially rotated out of Quant. As you know, my quant position was around $72, I think it came out to, if I can spell it right this morning. On my dollar cost average, we exploded well above, just like I predicted. I told you this thing was going to make a moonshot up into that dollar region. It's almost a 2x for some of the people who got in entries in that $50 range. We have finally rotated out of quant. We rotated into two assets that we are buying now. We split it. We're doing 400 into each asset every week, and we're doing $100 into XLM. So that's $900 a week still going into crypto. Am I worried about that this might not be the bottom? No. I don't care, to be quite frank with you, because I know when I look back on this moment and my buying opportunities that I'm going to do a 5, 10, maybe a 15x on everything that I am getting into, folks. It is that simple. Trump's tax plan of no capital gains tax on crypto assets issued by U.S. companies. Remember, this is only for cryptos issued by U.S. companies. Wink, wink, XRP, wink, 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 wink XLM. There's many others as well is bad news for Ethereum's and others who issued their crypto assets outside of the U.S. when it comes to having an edge in the U.S. markets. This is strong proof that Trump is not involved in the ETH gate conspiracies. We pull this up. It states in a recent development that could completely reshape the landscape of cryptocurrency investments in the U.S., President-elect Donald Trump has proposed the elimination of capital gain taxes on cryptocurrencies issued by American companies, according to sources close to the transactions team. 
This news has sparked significant excitement across the crypto community, particularly for Upland, a U.S.-based company whose token Sparklet, never heard of it, could potentially benefit immensely from such a policy shift. It also talks in here about H HBAR, XRP, and XLM. Look, Trump steps into office in January. If we get this bill later in Q1, maybe beginning of Q2, right before that parabolic blow-off top, you're going to see a mass amount of money rotating these assets that are in the U.S. because people aren't going to have to pay capital gains on it. It's that simple. You know what I'm going to be doing? This might change my whole strategy of when I get out, right? Because if if I plan, say, to exit at $5, I'm going to have to pay 20% on all my gains. Say I cash out and I get a million bucks. 20% of a million, that's $200,000 i am giving up. But if he passes this rule and regulations and my target's a hit and I don't have to pay taxes, I might be able to exit a little bit earlier now. You're probably thinking like, Rip, well, why are you going to get out earlier if you think it's going to $5? Look, when you hold a massive amount of crypto and you're about to change your life and generations' lives for such a long time, there is absolutely no need to take additional lives off or additional years off of your life because you were stressing about where these things go. I've told you before and I'll keep telling you, everyone should have a target this bull cycle. Not a target of your asset, but a total target that you were wishing to make within crypto. You should have a goal, a plan. A lot of you that are new, maybe your goal, your plan is just to pay off the house. Maybe it's to pay off the house, pay up the car, and get a rental property. Maybe it is full retirement, but you need to have a number set in back of your head. Because if you think XRP, and I'm just using these numbers for example, is going to $10 and that's your cash out point, and you have another asset that you think is going to go to $5, and your other asset instead goes to 10 but XRP never gets to 5 at the end of the day, you still hit your magical number that you need to get out. Think about that for a second. Here's why Solana's all-time high reflects an open interest, but not in price. This is coming from TheCryptoMinute.com, the only crypto news website you should be getting all of your news from. It states, Solana's price rally has brought it close to forming a new all-time high. Look at that. Solana's about to make a new all-time high before we even start to see the beginning of the fireworks. The fireworks haven't even been lined up yet. Yet, gone off. That's coming next year. It states the altcoin's upward momentum reflects heightened market activity, but challenge remains as Solana struggles to breach critical resistant levels. We've spoken about this before, and we'll use XRP as an example. XRP has a seven-year wall of not breaking an all-time high. The first main key area of resistance is going to be that all-time high. We'll call it $2 in 2020. After that, it's going to be a pain in the ass to break through $3, which was set in 2017. A lot of people who got in who have never were able to withdraw their XRP because they didn't want to take a loss will be selling at 3 bucks. But once that is finally broken, and that's what I'm hoping that the institutional money starts to enter and the ETF start to pop off, we're going to be sitting in a very very beautiful spot now credible crypto put out this post and listen up turn up the volume he says many asked me for an update on xrp and frankly the usd chart it's not as clear to me as i like it to be of course xrp is always a foggy one right so we're going to use the bitcoin chart as a gauge here the red zone i'm gonna pull this up for you in a second so you can see it on the screen the red zone is a major resistance. Odds are we find some resistance there on the push. That being said, it's a massive region slash zone. So XRP could push significantly higher on the USD parent before we start taking a breather. He's thinking $1.50 to $2. Remember, my targets for you, we were sitting around $1.30 to $1.70, $1.50 to $1.00, right in that range. But on the way down, we just want to hold that dollar zone. He says, I don't know if the bottom is in on XRP to Bitcoin or if we will go for the lows. That's a valuable variable that remains for now that he's going to keep note of. Flipping the dotted red line above the red zone and establishing it as, as support, we want to see to start to grow for a new all-time high. That's the most important level on this entire chart. So he's talking about flipping the dotted red line above the red zone, which you can see right here in the XRP to Bitcoin chart. We are nowhere by it right now. We still got a little bit of a bump in the road that we need to get through, which is that major red box. 
which is, you know, your dollar fifty to two dollar range, dollar thirty to dollar dollar seventy. He says a new all time high against Bitcoin. He says it's not a matter of if, folks, but when is it gonna happen? And he said that current Bitcoin prices, a new all time high on XRP slash Bitcoin would put us over twenty dollars easily. That being said, you'll need to be patient. We need to clear the red zone and flip the level above before we can start considering that. And that may take some time. So for now, he's going to continue to hold his spot while looking for potential trade entries on dips across the board. There you go. Credit spoken. He's thinking we're seeing a 20 plus dollar XRP. Look, don't shoot the messenger. I'm here for it. 20 plus dollar XRP. I'm throwing the biggest party. Even if we hit 50% of his target that he is throwing out there, $10. I am throwing the biggest XRP party, Rager. Everyone will be invited. Where is it going to be? We'll figure it out. We got to get there first, right? $10 next year, $20 next year. I mean, the fireworks are coming. The parabolic blow up tops are coming. How do we know if we're on track, on pace for this? It's very simple, folks. Let's hold a dollar by the end of the year. We already broke my 75 cent mark. Let's hold above a dollar. Let's see XRP break 2017 all-time high in Q1 before tax season. Let's get a little bit of a breather. And then let's see this parabolic blow up top come in the summer. And let's see all that money rotating XRP and get those ETFs and get institutional money coming. Fun. Exciting times are ahead. I hope you're prepared. I'm going to leave it like that. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.